Hey guys, it's Daylife1777. Uh, today's video is going to be on the uh, PlayStation Vita. I actually got to get my hands on one today at a GameStop near my place. And I'm actually pretty impressed with the device. Um, I'm going to show you guys some footage of it um, and take it from there. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you guys. Hey guys, well here's the PlayStation Vita menu. It has the, you know, little bubbles on it and you pick the apps or the games you want to pick. And that's about it for that. Now here I decided to uh, play the uh, Wipeout 2048 demo. Which uh, actually ran pretty good. I was pretty impressed with it. Um, it takes a while to load. I found that out. Um, once you start up a demo or uh, a level... It, for some reason it took a while to load here I'm just showing the uh, game mode the menu options I was trying to play this thing with one hand which didn't work out so I just like placed it on the thing and I almost dropped it so there you go now you know touch screen it's kinda weird you know using touch screen on a PSP because we're also used to you know not using the touch screen on a PSP but the menus were quite nice now, right there, start the race. And now it's loading. If you see the top left there, you could see the percentages loading. And I don't know, it seemed kind of slow. It has the controls, you know, for the race. The, what type of race you're racing. Here I'm showing the percentage. 42, 43, 44, 45. And it's, I don't know, it, it took about a a minute to load the whole race which isn't that bad but well, eh, whatever <laughs> but uh, other than that you know the screen looked amazing um, as we all know the display on the uh, PlayStation Vita is a 5 inch OLED multi-touch capacitive touch screen which is uh, 960 by 544 which is pretty awesome the, the screen was crisp but here we go guys we're about to start the race uh, visually the PSP is a powerhouse for handhelds nothing so far compares to it in, gr in the graphics department I really thought that it looked amazing especially this game it ran fluent it, there was no hitches there was no lag uh, nothing no frame rate drops it was a smooth um, here's like the little cutscene to start the race. And I'm just letting it roll through so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, alright, well, here's the race gonna start. I'm trying to play this thing with one hand. So that was pretty hard. And here we go, guys. We got, uh, Uncharted Golden Abyss. Which I only show, I didn't show that much. Because, again, I couldn't play and record at the same time. But visually, it's quite stunning. Now, it's not no PS3 graphics, but it comes close in some aspects. Like, Drake himself, like, facial expression, expressions definitely come close to PS3. But, the like, the flames and all that that I was seeing, they look, they really didn't look good at all, I personally thought. Um... Other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoy Uncharted, and here we go with uh, FIFA Soccer. Now, this game, I thought, looked like a PS3 game. Um, I don't know if it's because there's not that many things going on, but visually, I don't even like soccer games. But this game looked awesome for a handheld. I, I was super impressed by it. No doubt about it. Um, here we go with the uh, the menus and all that. Pretty much that's what the game looks like. The entire game looks awesome. Here yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to start the game. But I had to wait till it said start. Press start. So there you go. <clears throat> and look at that. I'm trying to get a good... Uh, there you go. Now, personally, that looks awesome. Like, if I was in, like, middle school with a PSP like this, playing these games on, you know, on the way um, 
from my school to home on the bus or whatever this would be amazing um visually i was impressed with this game i think this game looked the best out of all of them and then after that i would have to go with a wipeout and then uncharted i really didn't think uncharted looked that great uncharted still looks awesome though so no doubt about that well guys as we all know the uh, playstation vita is going to be released uh, february 22nd but if uh, you pre-ordered the uh, first edition bundle for uh, which costs uh, three forty nine ninety nine, you could receive it seven days early on the fifteenth, which is actually in four days from now. Um, that bundle includes a PlayStation Vita 3G Wi-Fi system, and it, it includes a free copy of a Little Deviants game, limited edition case, and a four gig memory card, which isn't that bad of a deal if you really want to get it earlier than everybody. Um, I personally don't think this is a good bundle. Um, I've seen better bundles out there. But if you don't want to wait till the 22nd, I say go for it and get it. Um, other than that, guys, uh, I think the PlayStation Vita is going to succeed as long as, you know, Sony releases games for it. You know, if we see a, a Metal Gear come out, if we see, you know, Devil May Cry, if we see Final Fantasies, if we see, you know, just the top PlayStation games, you know, Twisted Metal, God of War, you know, on a handheld close to PlayStation 3 graphics, that would be amazing. Um, you know, Resident Evils, even Call of Duties, you know, I, I'm sure Call of Duty could run perfectly fine on that PlayStation Vita because, you know, graphic wise, there's no issues there. But uh, other than that, guys, you know, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe and uh, like my video if you thought my video was good. Um, thank you very much, guys. Leave your comments below on your thoughts. And if you want me to record any specific game, I could just pass by the GameStop, you know, record some clips of it. And that's about it, guys. Thank you.